Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be showcasing the major differences between the GNOME Classic Desktop and the regular standard GNOME Desktop. Now, GNOME Classic Desktop should not be confused with the GNOME Flashback Desktop, and I'll be showing that in another future video. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and go over the features of the GNOME Classic Desktop. Now, the GNOME Classic Desktop is built off of GNOME technologies, the current ones, um, but it uses uh, specific layouts that are more comfortable for somebody who is used to a more traditional desktop experience. Now, whereas GNOME on its own is usually a little more abstract, other desktops have something called the traditional desktop metaphor, and that is what GNOME Classic tries to do use those current GNOME desktop technologies while also providing an experience for people who are used to something a little more traditional. So when we start using the GNOME Classic desktop, we are greeted with two panels. Now on the top panel, we have our applications menu and our applications menu divides our applications into the different types of applications that we have. We also have our places menu. Our places menu has shortcuts to uh, our file managers folders. So if we click on home, we go to our home folder. Likewise with documents, downloads, etc. Now we also have something. Let's actually own, open something really quickly here. Let's open clocks. So if we go to our clocks and we press on the clocks name, we get some menus for clocks. We can show our details or we can quit just like that. Now on the top right side of the top panel we have our uh, status indicators. We have our microphone, our volume, and our brightness along with the Bluetooth settings, the battery settings, a shortcut to settings, and our power options. This is something that you would just find on your regular standard GNOME you know, desktop. Uh, we also have uh, our notifications center along with our clock, our uh, uh, weather, and our other world clocks that we've added. Um, on our bottom panel, we have the ability to swish our workspaces. So we can open up a window here, and then we can go here, and we can open up another window. Just like that. Now. Over here we have our window list where we can open and close our windows. I think we can right click on our windows, yes, and we can close them or maximize them just like so. We can also choose to show and uh, show our activities. Uh, along with that, we can press on our super key and show our activities as well. Now, we do not have the standard applications uh, overview here, so you will not find that, that is not present. Um, once again, we're going to have to go to our applications menu on the top left, and voila, that's all of our applications. So that is the GNOME Classic Desktop. Let's go ahead and look at our standard GNOME Desktop by comparison. This is the regular GNOME Desktop that we have. It features one panel plus an activities overview with all of our workspaces. It also has an applications menu that we can quickly bring up by pressing the super key twice. We can also go to our overview by pressing the super key once. And on the very top with that one panel, we have yet again our power options, our shortcuts to settings, our uh, uh, microphone volume and brightness. We also have our quick Bluetooth settings and our quick battery settings. We also have our date and time along with our notifications on the side once we click on it to reveal this menu. We have our calendar, our world clocks, our location, etc. Over here when we press our activities button, we are once again greeted with the workspaces overview. We can also use the hot corner to bring up that overview. And we can also once again click on here to show a tiny little menu. That is the very basic gist of the GNOME desktop. Back on the GNOME Classic interface, something that should be noted is that the GNOME Classic uh, desktop session uses extensions to make up this little 
shell here. So if we turn off our window list, our window list goes away. If we turn off our applications menu and our places status indicator, they go away as well. So let us turn those back on. There is a couple of extensions that I would recommend using if you were to use this interface. Chances are you're using this because you want a more traditional desktop interface. So uh, a couple of things I would recommend is the extension app indicator and case status notifier item support, which you can download from the GNOME extensions website. You will have your little uh, application menus on the top. We can close these, we can open these, etc, etc. Another thing that I would recommend turning on is the desktop icons ding extension so that you can have your desktop icons on your desktop. Um, and one last final thing that I would recommend is chances are you want to use a theme that minimizes the borders, uh, the <laughs> that minimizes the little window borders. So in the description I will leave a theme that makes it look a little slimmer if you're not already using a theme that makes them look slimmer. Um, but that is about it for the GNOME Classic session. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the video on GNOME Flashback, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.